Okay, so let's do heap zero. So heap zero is another uh, binary exploitation exercise. Okay, so R overflow is just a stack concern, but download the binary here and download the source here. Okay, so I'll copy this for people to try out. And let's, so it seems that we have the, the program crashed over here. What we can do to exit out of here is you can do control C to um, cancel out of this um, out of this program right here. Okay. So this this challenge is called heap zero. So let's create a directory for it. And then we can copy the challenge files. Remember we have to see chmod plus x on the challenge file before we can interact with it. And now we're going to we're going to study the challenge file. Okay, so we're going to nano into it. Okay, so we we see some uh, some buffer sizes right here. So Flag size max 64. Okay, so that's um, the amount of data, the maximum amount of data we can get from the, the maximum amount that we can allocate for the contents of the flag. And then input data size is five. This is the amount of memory for the safe. Oh, sorry. It's uh, allocated for input data. So five. So this is a very small buffer that we're dealing with right here. And then, um, this memory allocation is for the safe variable, the safe variable variable, and what we're dealing with is the idea of a of a memory heap. So there are different um, there are different locations where memory can be. One is called uh, the memory stack, and one is called the memory heap. We won't go into to too much detail about. Um, about how memory is laid out inside of uh, computer programs, but what we have to, what we, what we should understand is that if you do a buffer overflow attack, then we're able to overflow either the stack or the heap to put information. Um, we can overwrite information by doing a stack overflow, uh, a buffer overflow attack. Okay, so instead of uh, instead of explaining what's going on here uh, inside of the code, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to do it inside of the, the program. Okay, so one thing we need to do is we need to create a flag file. So we're going to echo, uh, we've got the flag into flag.txt. And then we're going to run the challenge, the chal file. Okay, and it says, I put my data on the heap so it can be safe from any tampering. Since my data isn't on the stack, I'll even let you write whatever you want into the heap. I already took care of using mallet for you. Okay. So we see here in, in um, a representation of, uh, the, of the memory of the uh, of the program memory right here. So program memory is usually put into different addresses, which are usually long strings of hex, and then there's um, there's a value associated with them. Uh, they're usually also in hex, they're not usually in ASCII, like this. But uh, we can do a bunch of different things here. We can print out the heap, we can write to the buffer, which is this right here. Uh, we can print the safe variable over here, which is this. And we can print the flag. Okay, so what we need to do inside of, um, inside of this challenge is that we need to overwrite the value of uh, the safe variable, which is this. And it just has to not be this value right here. Anything will do. So if we take this address and this address, and we try to ask 
our good friend ChatGPT. What is how many bytes separate the following two memory addresses? Okay, so converting from hexadecimal to decimal, 0x20 is equal to 32 in, in decimal. So the difference between this memory address and the other memory address is 32 bytes. So what we need to do is we need to send more than 32 bytes in order to overwrite the, the contents of, uh, of this, of this uh, memory value right here. So we're going to write to the buffer and we're going to, we're going to send 33 bytes. So it's going to be 32. Okay, so what this should do is it should overwrite, because we're sending more than 32 bytes, it should overwrite the, uh, the value of uh, Biko right here. So we send it, and then we print the heap one more time. So we see that um, everything over here was put into into the um, into the heap, but it also overflowed into the memory address where the save variable is kept. And because the save variable is no longer what it was originally set as, when we do print flag, it's going to return the flag to us. So we can do number four, print flag. And it says, you win, we got the flag. Okay, so to solve the challenge, we need to launch another web server instance. So we, uh, sorry, it's not a web server, it's just another server. It's only a web server if it has a web page. Okay, it says connect with the challenge instance here. So we can copy this. And then we can connect to the server by using this netcat command. Okay, so we can do the same thing we did just now to get the flag. So we can write to the buffer and then we're gonna send the same data that we sent last time. Paste it in. And then we're going to print the heap one more time, number one and we see that the heap data has been overwritten. So when we do number four, print flag, it's going to print out the flag for us. So if there's any, if you have any questions about what we're doing for this binary exploitation exercise, uh, please uh, please speak up because uh, I don't want anybody to, to be confused about what we're doing here. Okay, so we're going to print the flag now that we've overwritten the, uh, the variable right here. Okay, and it says you win, and we so we can copy this. Then go over to the challenge page, paste in our flag, and submit the flag. Okay, don't forget to go back in and click on the thumbs up button. Hey there, hacker frogs! Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.